All right, I got a BMW FRM3 here. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen one, but uh, what's happened is it's basically bricked itself and deleted its EEPROM. Uh, luckily, we can recover it. Let me go ahead and get it open. Uh, we will have to make a few connections to the board here so that we can access the data off of this uh, 9S12 here. I believe it's a XEQ3 uh, three something, 384 maybe. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the P flash, which is for the programming, and then the data flash, which is it's called D flash. And with that D flash, I can run it through uh, some freeware that uh, restructures the original EEPROM data, and then I can reformat the EEPROM that's in here to uh, kind of bring it back to life. But uh, let's go ahead and get our connections here. Okay, so on the back of the board here, we have a few connections that we need. It's going to be VCC reset ground and background debugging okay so I've got uh, the points that I need to connect to tinned. Uh, I was going to use X Pro, but I think I'm going to actually use my Orange 5 on this one. So I'm going to solder uh, VCC here. And I'm going to do uh, reset. I'm going to do a ground. Okay, and finally, in the background debugging. Okay. Now let me move this guy here like this. Take this off. Okay, so this is VCC. Let's see, which one is this supposed to go to? Let's put reset down. I think it's supposed to be RxD for the background debugging. And then ground. Okay. Now if we go to our software. Let's go into device. MCU. Now we have to go to MTRK. And we need the MS12, I mean the 9S12. XEQ384. Okay. So here in Orange 5, we have the three sections we have D flash, P flash, and EEE -E -E, which is for the emulated EEPROM. I'm going to go ahead and hit boot. See if everything boots up like it's supposed to. It did not. Let's check. Uh, let's see if there's a chip pinout for this. Yeah so RxD is the BKGD like I thought that's good. I'll go into uh, device options. I want auto detect the baud rate. Okay, now we should be able to boot. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and read the D flash. And I'm going to save this. 
and this is the D flash. All right, and I also I want to read the uh, programming here as well. So I want to read the P flash. This one's going to take a while. While that is doing that, let's go fix the uh, emulated EEPROM file. So this is a freeware site. Uh, I have a program that does it too, but it was just easier to go here. Uh, so I'm going to select the file that we just read, which was this. Nope, nope, that's not it. Oh, that, that looked like a virgin file. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even know I had that. This is the one I just read. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to load it. I'm going to upload. And this will give me a file that I can download. Okay, so this is telling me what I have to do. D flash should have zero bytes. Always verify after writing. Okay. Okay, so the P flash is done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is erase the chip. I want to erase everything, actually. Uh, I do not want to unsecure that. I just want to hit erase, and I want to erase everything. That's going to erase uh, the P flash, the D flash, and the emulated EEPROM. And then I'm going to open up this uh, emulated EEPROM again. I'm going to partition this and uh, this is a pretty weird um, way that orange does it but for this particular module you're going to want to do all zeros for the DF part and then you're going to do a 10 for the ER part here I'm going to hit OK and that should be done I'm going to go ahead and write this e -prom. and then I'm going to go back to e flash and I'm going to make sure I write that again. Let me load the P flash and let's write that. And again, this is going to take a while. All right, so the P flash is done. Um, this should be complete. But let me read the, no, 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 no. Let me read the ID. And let me query the emulated EEPROM. This will tell you the uh, partition. Uh, and it is uh, 0 for the D part and 10, which is the full, uh, I guess, 128. KB of EEPROM memory. So that is correct. Uh, one last thing I do want to do is I want to disconnect the wires from my uh, Orange 5. And I am going to reconnect them because I have found that sometimes when these guys lose power right after recovering them, that they'll forget again. So I just want to disconnect the power, uh, kind of reset the chip, and uh, I will have to run boot again. And now I should be able to go to the EEPROM, should be able to open the EEPROM, and I uh, should be able to compare. So 21 errors, that's okay. Good. We didn't want to see like 3,000 errors. However big this is, that's, that's when you would... That's when you would see a, a problem and I uh, would have to do it again. But yeah, this should be all done. So I'm just going to take this apart. Okay. Going to clean up the flux a little bit. And that's it.
this one's all done.